Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing33 Plays The Darkest Dungeon. My name is Stewing33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, today we are off to fight the Swine Prince because uh, the Wrathful Bandana sounds like a really, really good trinket, uh, generally speaking. It basically is just tons of damage, and she can't heal or be healed as much, but that should be fine. I'm hoping that it'll be okay. We'll definitely bring a couple torches, a couple of those things. We'll bring some bandages and two of these. Or, I guess, one of those. Uh, let's bring a medical herbs as well. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. But it should be fine. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, hear that? Fail spectacularly. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. If I had to guess, it's either going to be here or here. I'm going to say it's down here. That feels like the more asshole place for it to be. And we all know how much this game likes to dick me. Don't you ever try to dick me, game. I'll fuck you up. Well, good, a good quirk. Night Owl. Night Owl's good, but only if we ever decide to do dark runs. Which, without the proper trinkets, I don't think we'll ever try to do dark runs. It seems like a poor choice. Alright, let's blight the shit out of these guys in the back here. Uh, one of them resisted it. I keep forgetting that these guys are resistant to blight. They're the This is the bleed dungeon. The ruins is the blight dungeon. Um, And then you really don't want... You want to bleed the warrens but blight the fish or the fish you can do either i guess but the fish are like the deadliest one or the deadlier ones it's all it's all kind of some kind of fuckery uh let's just go ahead and wicked hack one of these guys to death she does a lot of damage with that bracer on so i am not too concerned everybody's a little bit slow because of the trinkets um these early game trinkets are all garbage um, they're not hot garbage, but they're pretty close, to be honest. There we go. More Blight. He's dead. They're both dead, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Just wipe the hell out of this Carrion Eater. Hopefully get a group heal off first. That might be nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and stun this guy. There we go. In an attempt to get one of these babies off. And then we'll crush you. Oh, big hit. Big, 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 big hit. I turned the levels up on my microphone a little bit because I felt like it was a little quiet yesterday. Hopefully it's not too loud now. I only turned it up by like five, but the mic's a little testy. I don't remember what this is. No, let's not touch that. Let's just avoid touching that. Let's go down. I want to try to avoid fights just because we are here to kill a boss. Um, it's the kind of thing that um, perhaps... It is not a good move to uh, get into too much combat when you got to stay healthy for a boss fight that you know is coming up. There's another There's another empty room for us to enter. If this goes fine, like if we crush the boss super hard, we might dick around a little bit. Maybe check out the rest of the, the floor, but um, we'll see about that. I'm not sure if how smart of an idea that's going to be. Uh, we can't camp, so let's go do the boss fight, I guess. What I'm assuming is the boss fight. It can either be this corner or it's the corner up top. Um, either way, we'll see about it. That's a good bleed. By good bleed, I mean it was an okay bleed. Let's bleed you. Good. I'm probably going to just hit him, to be honest. But we'll strike that guy down. And then we will stun you to death, apparently. Stun you to death! <laughs> oh, goddamn. Oh, never mind. We're good. Ball and chain sucks. Get out of here. Let's bleed this guy like a stuck pig. There we go. I think he's not quite dead yet, but he's gonna be. That's all that matters. Ooh, nasty. Nasty bleeds. Cut that guy down. Cut his life into pizza. This is his plastic fork. Really like that. That parody is super good. Oh, don't touch the thing. 
stupid idiot. Right. There's no reason for us to pop a torch before the boss fight. Hey, I was right. All right, cool. And this one. Good. And we'll use Defender then. Um, I forgot to change off Bellow. I actually swapped Bellow off specifically to avoid this exact situation. Just keep bleeding them. And we'll use Defender on somebody. I'll do it on the Vestal. It gives him extra protection. That's the reason we're doing it. Oh, big hits. Hell yeah. This, is, it, this boss fight's a pure DPS race. Um, which is why the bleeds are important. But uh, as long as he keeps hitting the man at arms, like, totally fine. Yeah, totally fine. We'll use protection on her. She, he should be able to eat most of that damage there. I think the blights are better from our... Yeah, the blights are way better from our plug doctor. And her just hitting him should do more damage. Perfect. Do a group heal. Just get everybody a little healthier. Yeah, we'll just keep stacking blights and... Ugh! 13's a nasty hit, actually. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... We're gonna heal, direct heal her before... Um, this douchebag gets a chance to go again. Just keep stacking the blights up. Really wish I had taken Adrenaline Surge. I was I meant to do so. I was thinking about it before uh, the episode started here. And um, I voted against it for some reason. I don't remember why, though. 11 damage is nasty. Wilbur's an asshole. I'll stop it with the end of these two. We're going to have to swap around a little bit here. Maybe. Depends how much damage we can do to this guy during the course of this round. Uh... No, because, okay, so she can only move forward, which means that we just basically need to heal her as best we can. Or we can try to stun the Swine Prince, which I don't think is possible. Yeah. I think this boss is pretty much just, you gotta beat him before he kills one of your dudes. Nasty hit. Well, well we can get a heal. Don't do the fucking flag thing. Okay, yeah, see, that's fine. Do that more. Do zero damage. Um, we'll heal her with the Vestal before the round starts here. We'll do this. Get him back up to 60%. Heal her. Good. Do another hit. Oh, big hit. He's dead now, I think. Yep, there it goes. Squeal's bad. Squeal's bad because it can mean stuns across the board, which isn't great. Luckily, that does not appear to be the case here. So, yeah, it's like we're going to just crush Wilbur and we'll be done. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Death door recovery. Ah, I see. Okay. Going to bite you. Might as well just keep trying to kill him, I guess. At some point, it'll work. Perfect. Give them no quarter. Don't actually remember what the um, reward for this dungeon is. Yeah, I can't remember. Let's camp real quick. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Uh, do we have anything that prevents the nighttime ambush? Nope, doesn't look like it. Mm-hmm. That'll be good. Let's do that. Let's do an, an encourage. Let's do a chant. Let's do... Hmm. Have I got any diseases on this team? Nope. Okay. In that case, we'll just do sharpen spear. And we're good to go. Rest up. We're just going to chant it. Worst case scenario, I was like, worst case, we get jumped and we just crush the shit out of them. Black as death. Yeah, this is fine. This is actually, like, legitimately fine. Um, we go. The only issue we're going to run into is that the stress can get kind of bad now, but... Like, I'm not concerned about damage. I, I... Really not. Let's stun you. Move him forward again. Alright, that didn't quite work. Let's smite you down. Alright, that guy's dead now. 
Hey, look at that. Good crit. And let's do a, one of these. Ooh, big hits. Big plays, big plays. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Don't you vomit. Don't you vom. 13 stress is not that bad, actually. Oh, get wrecked. Fucking bolt from the gods, mortal. What up? Sapphire's actually super good. Alright, let's, uh... Let's poke around a little bit more. I know it's dangerous, but, you know, honestly, we're doing fine on health right now, and the stress is not that bad, and I would like to get some more money if we can. And if we find the secret room, that would be nice. Uh, I see some treasure up ahead, so we will go in that direction. The pack contains loot. Sweet. Stuff is only the first test. Sweet. Pallet must be carried home. Not so bad. If we hit a hunger tile, uh, we'll just leave. I mean, that's the nice part about this, is that if at any point it gets too much for us, we can just go... Uh, medical herb? No? Okay. How about... Torch? No? Okay. It's just holy water, then. I'm gonna assume it's not, like, we can't put, like, anti-venom or anything like that on it. Alright, let's do this. Double blight's good. The blight's real strong. It's real strong. Play grenade, really good ability. Blight blast is really good, too. If we can get the uh, explosive concoction, I'll actually be extra happy. Explosive concoction plus blasphemous vial is, like, best combination of trinkets we can ask for on a plague doctor. Because the blasphemous vial basically counteracts the negative from the explosive cask without ruining its, like, the goodness of it, which is great. Let's crush you. Let's crush you. Back to the pit. Let's heal you. Good. Easy does it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. This guy's gonna be dead. The stress is bad, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, we're doing fine. Get out of here. Heal her. Good. Perfect. Actually totally doing fine. Let's uh bellow it out. That that's a weird a weird sound effect for that ability. <laughs> no, seriously, this is a strange sound effect for that ability. They're probably like, we need a sound, it's like bellowing. I just want this guy to blight out. There you go. Get out of here. We can fight the necromancer. If we're feeling fucking spicy. Am I feeling spicy? That's a good question. The answer... The... Oh, hey! Well, I mean, I wanted to fight the Necromancer, but I guess this will do, too. Uh, this thing's garbage, so we'll dump that. This thing's not great either, but, I mean, it's not that bad either. Let's grab this treasure room, and then we'll leave. Hey, surprise round's great for us. Super good. Cut that guy down. Didn't quite cut that guy down like I wanted. Oh! Oh! Hell yeah. Get out of here. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Break. I'm glad breakthrough could be used from the first position for some reason. I don't think I don't think that's the case um in pitch black. I think I think in pitch black you actually have to get all up in the person's grill. They have to like be back a space rather. That's annoying. The stress is still not that bad. I think we're still fine. I'm gonna bleed you. Good. Crush it out. And we're good. Sweet. Sweet. Dump the bandages. Dump the journal page. Open this up. 
Get some more stuff. Uh, since we're leaving, let's dump the key. And then we'll go. Only because we were leaving. Mm. None too shabby. None too shabby. Fair amount of portrait steeds. Good amount of curio or heirlooms. I'm about, you know, I was actually pretty good. Crushed that boss like it wasn't even there. Dem Demonomania. Possessed, uh, believes is possessed by demons. Warren's Adventure is pretty good. Mankind Hater. Very good. Very good. Super happy about that. The bar, the, all of the things in this building are in the tavern are free. Nice. Hey, we get 2,000 gold from gambling. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anything good in here? Stun resist? Stun charm's actually pretty good. Um, I'm also going to grab a debuff charm. The debuff charm, I'm grabbing them because uh, we need them for when we eventually fight... Uh, What's his do? What's their douche? The siren. Sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Battle heal's not bad. This eventually turns into a stress relief, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that's gonna have to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't subscribe to keep up to date. I want to post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye!